Hi, I'm Michelle Onifray with International Mountain Connection. Welcome to Mountain Madness. Well, winter is coming, so I thought it is the perfect opportunity to talk about the word cold. And today I'm going to talk about two different ways that we use the word cold. Now, the first way is probably the definition that you know. We're talking about temperature, but what's often difficult when we are using a different language is the verb that we use with cold. But for one time in English, it's very, very easy because we can talk about the temperature outside, like the weather. We can talk about uh, the temperature of an object or a liquid or even our body temperature, and we use the same verb. Wow! I know it's very exciting because it can be so frustrating when we're learning a new language and the verb is different for so many different ways to use one word. But with cold, when we talk about the temperature, we use the verb to be. So if we're talking about the weather, we can say that it is cold outside. If we're talking about a liquid, like water, we would say the water is cold. If we're talking about our shoes, we can say our shoes are cold. And if we're talking about our body temperature, we can say I am cold or I am not cold. Hopefully right now you are not cold. Now the second way that we use the word cold is actually when we are sick. This is the name of a of an illness and this is something that often happens in winter time but we do not use the verb to be. In this situation we use the verb to have and then we add a little article, a little word, a. So we say, I have a cold, or she had a cold. So what is a cold? Well, a cold is a virus, and we get this often in the year. Maybe we will have a fever, so our body temperature is not cold, it is actually very hot. Um, maybe we have a headache, or maybe our nose is stuffy. When we say our nose is stuffy, that means it's, it's difficult to breathe through our nose. Um, we can also have a runny nose, or a nose that is running, and no, I'm not saying that your nose is running. I'm saying that the liquid that's in your nose, the mucus, is leaving your body from your nose. That's what we mean when we say we have a runny nose or our nose is running. Other symptoms for a cold. Um, you can have a sore throat. You can have a cough <coughs> or you can sneeze. Do you know the word sneeze? <gasps> Choo! That's a sneeze. So if you have a cold, you can uh, sneeze, you can cough, you have a runny nose. Um, oh, you can be tired. And so your, your muscles hurt and you, you're just sleepy and you don't want to do anything. But luckily, a cold is not very serious, and maybe after seven or 10 days, you start to feel better. 
So when we say we have a cold, that means that we have a little virus and we are sick. But if we say we are cold, we are talking about our body temperature or the temperature of the water or the weather outside. So two different ways that we use the word cold. I'm glad you're here to watch this video and I hope you will join me next week for another episode of Mountain Madness. If you want to be notified when the next video is available, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button and the bell. And remember, why trust International Mountain Connection with your English training? Because Brian isn't in the kitchen, he's in the mountains. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.